you want in on the Dan Hurley bet? Does he stay? Does he go? I mean, like my understanding of the NBA and Danny Hurley, which is not, I don't know Danny at all. I just know his father from back when I played with the Nets. I used to go to the St. Anthony games. It doesn't seem like he would want that job. If you're Danny Hurley, can't you get any job in the world? The Laker job doesn't seem like a great job, but it is LA. It's a, you know, it is LeBron James. I guess you would go for that. But if Danny Hurley wanted to throw his hat in the ring, why didn't he do it earlier? Why are you waiting until now when they're on the, you know, like, the last hour about to hire J.J. Redick, and all of a sudden Dan Hurley comes in. I will say this. Okay, but let's say <laughs> Boston a, was open, hypothetically. I, there's a lot of – I mean, I'm not going to – you know what? I don't want to do that because I don't want to, like, pin another coach and saying that this guy's going to get fired, right, or anybody out there. No, like, no, no, but him coaches. taking a job, the specialness of the Lakers job and the Celtics job – and I guess you could include the Knicks. There aren't a lot of jobs in the yeah, NBA. Feel, does, does Darvin Ham feel that way? Like, does he think it was special? Frank Vogel <laughs> won a championship. When, does he feel he like got, it was? When he got hired, he thought it was special. Not when he got fired. Man, I'm a, listen. I I'm all about the historic uh, players and the, the franchise and all that stuff, Dan. I want a good roster with some draft picks where they're not talking about talk, drafting Bronny. I I don't want to do. I wouldn't want to deal with Danny Hurley. Danny Hurley, he wants to deal with that. Like the, I said this two years ago, it's amazing. It's like they they got to have JJ Reddick. You got to be on JJ Reddick's podcast for people to know he's a good coach. Just watch him coach. Two years ago, he's calling out actions, secondary action, and his team is going through it with aggression and yet checking off going to second, third, fourth, fifth option. That is insane. I said it two years ago, and yet it only happens when he's on a podcast. Like this guy's <laughs> like I, I don't understand how the NBA things work. Like I if if Danny Hurley is your guy, why was he not your guy four months ago, three months ago? Why is it just now that he's your guy? It makes no sense to me, Dan. Plus, JJ Reddick has Danny Hurley on his podcast and then asking questions about what Hurley runs at Connecticut. And then the Laker brass and LeBron hear the podcast, and then they realize JJ's not the guy. Dan Hurley is the I, guy. Like Reddick did himself a disservice. He took himself probably out of the running here but, because but he Dan, had Hurley on. So, so billion dollar organizations are making decisions based off a of podcast. Okay, would you rather have Reddick or Hurley? Uh, Hurley all day. Okay. I might take Hurley over. 20 NBA coaches. The guy's nasty as a coach. Elite, elite at what he does. I just don't understand how it works, Dan. That's it. Oh, so you would stay you? if you're Hurley. You'd stay at Connecticut instead. Oh, yeah. Of, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me another one. I go for try to win another championship. And, and then just inform everybody that you're interested in going to the NBA. Then really good teams that are looking to get over that hump would hire you at that point. Don't do it like this. This is like a, it's like a, it's like a rash judgment. Don't take. The, he can do whatever he wants. It's Danny Hurley. He's the man. But what, like, was Reddick asked about the Lakers' job last night by any members of the media? I don't think so. I, I think that's like I even saw JJ. I'm not going to ask him about that. I feel like that's no, a no. But I mean, subject. publicly, like did did anybody say, "Hey, I want to interview Reddick." And ask him about this. No, I mean, you hear that thing where Shams has tweeted out that he's they're targeting or they're they're zeroing in, and then JJ Redick uh, basically said like that's not actually true. So I don't know what's going on with the whole search, but I think like JJ Redick, that's a good job for JJ Redick. He's just starting out; it's high profile. Like, fine, you'll you'll get to coach LeBron. You'll probably have some success. You don't know even going to the second round might be a good year for you. I just think that's beneath Danny Hurley. Yeah, I wondered if this was a leverage play with Danny Hurley. Me like, too. hey, I'm going to listen to you. And then all of a sudden, now I'm flying out to meet with you. And now Jeff Goodman, college basketball reporter, says UConn is preparing a big contract offer to Danny Hurley. I, I think he thought he was going to get taken care of earlier at Connecticut. Maybe that's where you start flirting with somebody. And all of a sudden, you're flirting and you go, well, wait a minute here. And then you start to you know, do that job search in your mind, like, uh, hun, would you like to live in Los Angeles? Uh, what schools and money? Where could we live? Yeah. What's the you know all of those things? Now you get in a little deeper, and you're like, I don't know. So yeah. I, I don't know if he doesn't come back with a contract from L.A., then I wonder if he's going to take that job. 
Yeah, I don't. It doesn't make sense to me, but it doesn't mean like the, you know Malcolm Gladwell's tipping point, right? You don't want to do something, and then you listen, and then you don't really want to do it, and next thing you know, you're like picking out a house and deciding if you need to live in Manhattan Beach or <laughs> or like on the water in Malibu. So you know, I, you never know when the tipping point happens. But it, I, I, if it was, if I was Danny Hurley. Like, I don't know Danny Hurley that well, but if I was Danny Hurley, go back to UConn and then let everybody know that you are interested in going to the NBA because there are some really, really good jobs out there. And I think that some presidents, owners, GMs would bend over backwards to get Danny Hurley and he might be able to pick his job.